try again, man. Hey, hey, no, man. No, no, no. Hey, 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 hey what's going on here? Hey, where are all these people coming from? What's going on? Um, we can't see it. All right, no. let me call my good friend Ronald McDonald. As you can see here, Ronald McDonald contacts the ball inside the 60 degree to 100 degree range on the unit circle. When hitting a serve in tennis, you want to hit the ball in this range. However, in order to get the serve into the service box, you need to also hit the ball with the right angle of depression, which we can calculate using trigonometry. the angle of depression of the ball, we need to create some triangles using these court dimensions as shown. Firstly, we, since Ronald McDonald is standing at the middle of the tennis court, we need to determine the length that where Ronald McDonald is standing to where the ball ends up. So we can create a triangle in order to find this length. Using 60 feet and 13.5 feet in order to find the hypotenuse of the triangle. In order to find the hypotenuse of the triangle, we need to use the Pythagorean theorem. As a refresher, the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, our a value is 13.5 feet and our b value is 60 feet. Now we just plug those values into the equation. So it is 13.5 squared plus 6c squared equals c squared. Calculating our c value, we get 61.5 feet. So the hypotenuse is 61.5 feet. Now that we have 61.5 feet, we can use that value at 9.75 feet in order to calculate the angle of depression of the ball. We can create a new triangle to find this angle of depression and also use trigonometry. So we must remember that tangent is opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. In order to find this degree, we need to find the arc tangent. Which will give us arc tangent of 61.5, which was our opposite, over 9.75, which was our adjacent, which is approximately 81 degrees. So our angle is 81 degrees. But that would allow your opponent to easily counter your serve because it gives them more reaction time. So reaction time can be calculated by using the formula distance equals rate times time. We are using the distance equals rate times time formula in order to find the time opponents have to react to Duran Well serve versus Ronald McDonald serve. First, we are given a distance which is 62.3 feet. Now we need to alter this formula to accommodate our needs, which in this case, we're looking for time. So it's distance equals rate time time, and we divide rate over to both sides. So now it is time equals to distance over rate. First, we will calculate Duran Wells' opponent's reaction time. For Duran Wells, his speed, his tennis serve speed is 31.15 feet per second. 
So we substitute in the values for distance and rate. So his distance, 62.3 feet, divided by his rate, which is 31.15 feet per second, which gives the opponent a reaction time of two seconds. For Ronald McDonald, we have a rate of 129.79 feet per second. Plugging these values into the equation, we have time equals distance, 62.3 feet, divided by rate, which is 129.79 feet per second, which gives the opponent a reaction time of only 0 0.48 seconds. As you can see, Ronald McDonald's serve only allows the opponent to react less than a second compared to drawn wells, which gives the opponent time to react up to two seconds to a serve.